So what's today's weather? Your cup of tea? Lauren Casey is joining us now. She has you covered with more rain in the forecast. Yeah, absolutely, Joel. Well, today's a good day to hang indoors, take a little nap, watch a little movie with the clouds looming around and that light rain falling throughout the day. It was a cool day. And that has been the trend for April. In fact, we have yet to hit our first 80 degree high temperature. Our warmest so far this year, 79 degrees, and that occurred on March 20th. On average, we have our first 80 degree reading in Philadelphia on April 19th. So we're overdue. And at this point, we are on track to have our latest first 80 degree day in 23 years. It takes us back to 1997. High temperatures didn't get anywhere near 80 degrees today. 51. Our average high temperature is now up to 68. We only topped in the 40s in Trenton, our warm spot. 58 degrees in Wildwood. Current conditions right now are chilly. 40s on the board for most everyone. 35 degrees right now in Mount Pocono, but no one reporting light rain at this hour. We are starting to see a few breaks in the cloud deck, but getting a live look at Center City, Philadelphia. Low clouds are still looming and reduce visibilities, but we have seen improvements in visibility, especially across portions of Delaware. Now Millville reporting 10 mile visibility. We are on the dry slot of our area of low pressure as it continues to move itself offshore so we are seeing some breaks in the clouds storm scan 3 also showing us a bit of a break in the rainfall as well but check out some of that late season snow falling across portions of upstate new york we do have a few light showers still around trying to move back into portions of southern delaware elsewhere getting a break from the rain at this hour but keeping some scattered showers still in the forecast will be on the back side of the system so a few showers still could wrap around in variable cloud cover and we're chilly down to 42 degrees tonight Night. That's below average and another well below average day for our Monday tomorrow. High temperature only 51 degrees thanks to that northerly wind flow. Clouds in the morning, a few showers around, especially for the first half of the day. We could see some breaks of sunshine throughout the afternoon. That is looking more likely, I think, but that could create some unstable conditions. What could generate? a few more showers in the afternoon. Future weather showing us as we head throughout the overnight period. Still some light showers, some drizzle activity possible. That continues into tomorrow morning. Again, all of this will be light in intensity. Some breaks in the clouds as we head into Monday afternoon, but a few showers are still possible before we clear things out as we head into tomorrow evening. And that will set us up for some sunshine as we head into Tuesday. Temperatures rebound up into the low 60s. We're mainly dry during the daytime hours on Wednesday, but Hours return Wednesday night with another potent system that will bring us a soggy, potentially windy day on Thursday with some thunderstorms possible. So stay tuned to that evolving forecast. Looking ahead for the first weekend of May next weekend, maybe some 70s, but we'll have to wait until next Sunday, Joe. I think we've been good. We've earned them. Yes. Lauren Casey, good to see you. Thank you so much.